I did my first art show before we left for Chicago um, in a white Rolls Royce, <clears throat> as did Salvador Dali. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was in the Gulch. It was the first art show done in the Gulch. That's when the Gulch was just starting at Music City Dream Cars, yeah. uh, 905 Gleave Street behind Pine Street Flats. So I was able to pull in a Rolls Royce and have a lot of those aesthetics there, just really making my scratch from scratch. Yeah. This art tour that we did was the most organic thing that has that may have ever have occurred. Yeah. Because if you looked at like where our finances were, where our heart was, but mm-hmm. like where my creative aesthetics were at that time, all put together, we had just enough to continue to like you know when you skip a stone on the water. To, it just keeps going. We had just enough to continue adroitly moving from place to place, and we just followed a compass that was not even pre-planned. It was like we go here next. Like we feel yeah. that it's this state next. We feel it's this place next. Yeah. And um, and that's what we did. But in order to do that, I had to utilize what it, at the time was Instagram, mm. the most powerful of apps. You know, I feel that if you take every social media, even to this day, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter all of them, and, and you, just like when you do a mathematic equation, when you try to find the mean of something, the average of something, you would get Instagram as the ultimate value. People. I agree. Yeah, that's my favorite platform by far, next to YouTube. I feel like Instagram and YouTube are the best at building audiences and creating something. Yeah, that's... Personally. I, I agree. I agree completely. People are going to consistently, as long as we have these cellular devices, which is going to be a very long time, we are yeah. going to have the ability... People are going to be taking photos and they're going to want people to see those photos and that's never going to stop no is that and unlike facebook or this or that having to have the photo the video adds an extra dimension that it becomes difficult for some people to want to express right that extra dimension yeah and so we took instagram at the time and began following people in the areas that we were soon to go to Mm -hmm. which was hilarious man we were even using tinder at the time tinder had just came out yeah i was over here hitting up people on tinder matching with all these hot chicks and stuff inviting them to the show it's like networking kind of but for tinder right like through tinder is networking it was that i've heard people do that before do you know the youtuber danny duncan i do not no he he's probably in his late 20s now but he's like really big youtuber out in florida now but he used to live in la but he got his start by he wanted to go to la couldn't afford to live there so what he did was live in his car but when he wasn't sleeping in his car he was on tinder asking girls to stay over at their places (laughs) each night like he did that for i think he said like two years it was either he slept in his car or he stayed at a girl's place off of tinder just to be able to stay there and not sleep in the car yeah that's taking a crowd surf into a whole nother level (laughs) yeah. <laughs> right there. Um, and so, but yeah, so we were using those channels and I didn't ever think that that was going to become a business model. As I mentioned, you know, I'd mm-hmm. fresh out of college and I had, I had also stopped working. I had taken yeah. off time to do this art. Right. And I literally sacrificed everything, like right. everything that the system tells you that you need yeah. for a dream. And if that's not what the game is all about, yeah. then I don't know what is. Yeah. Like we literally... We literally made our scratch from scratch, saw an opportunity, and and it was not the most lucrative endeavor initially, mm-hmm. but it was the most fulfilling, and it cemented in my soul evermore, and it's still a part of my dreams. When I when I dream at night, I've kept a dream journal for eight years consistently. Wow. That I save my dreams in my phone when I arise because they're very fleeting, and then I put them in on paper in ink yeah it's now about you know it's pretty thick right and it's interesting to go through and i noticed that i revisit different places that i went at that time and and the the feeling and those dreams are very unique so i come back into tennessee Mm -hmm. and um after a lot of traveling because we we started the tour the first show was um february the 22nd 2014 okay um when i was in the the rolls royce and um which is significant to my journey. Mm-hmm. And um, and then the final piece of what was called the Alive Tour okay. was 2015, January 24th, at Nashville's Adventure Science Center, which is the large red pyramid you see when you're going to downtown. Yeah, It changes multicolor. I had worked out a deal there to do the final show, the Return to Nashville show there. Right. And I had left the pyramid on all red, had all the girls wear all white with silver shoes. It was a very experimental um, night, to say the least. Yeah. And um, they had all the fun, different, you know, 
globes and, and LED lights and things incorporated. So that's when I had began to now start another piece of what is soon to be unveiled in this conversation as yeah. to my lucrative endeavors. And so at this time, I get back and I see that, okay, I had a dream. A little bit more money would have helped this dream be another level than I had. So I had to realize that like having a pure ambition, having the right heart and trying to do something um, sometimes isn't enough, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, you know, you have to have, you know, you know, it's, you know, wise as serpents, innocent as dove. And so right. we were, we were innocent as dove, but we were not wise as serpents. Okay. And so it was time for me then to begin building independent wealth. Mm -hmm. And so I began taking the same social media that I was using on this tour. I developed a few thousand authentic followers and connections all over the world right. through, um, you know, different Instagram endeavors and things like that. And I began taking that to companies. Mm -hmm.